Now, as promised, it is time to join Johnny Nelson, the man with the camera. He's out there on the conference floor at Cybos 2022. Johnny, it's a big space that you're navigating. So where are you? It is a big space indeed here, Cybos 2022, day two out here on the exhibitor floor, Juliet. But we've still got energy to spare. I'm here at the one stand, which almost matches this suit. Well, close enough. And for good reason, we're here at Swift, who are executing their strategy to provide instant and frictionless cross-border payments, effectively handling sanctions friction as a key obligation on this journey. And I'm lucky enough to find out more with Tom Scampion, Chief Executive Officer of GSS Rose, and David Watson, Chief Strategy Officer of Swift. Gentlemen, good afternoon. I hope you're enjoying your Cybos 2022 experience thus far. But sticking with the subject, David, if I can start with you first. Swift's strategic vision is to deliver instant and frictionless end-to-end -end for international transactions, paving the way for financial institutions to enhance their customer experience, delivering exciting new services, capturing rich data and embracing emerging innovations. Quite a mouthful, but of course, it's going to come with its own challenges. What challenges do you foresee and how are Swift going to tackle them? Certainly. I think what we've seen over the last few years with Swift GPI data is that actually more than half of payments actually settle in a time frame that's quite acceptable for people. In fact, I think 50% settle in under, than five, under five minutes. However, what we can also see is that in order to get to that true instant and frictionless landscape, there are a few things that still need to be solved as an industry. Payment controls, currency controls, and in particular context for this conversation, how we deal with sanctions as well. Tom, we know that you've been working in FCC in various consultancies throughout your career. What do you see the industry doing to address some of the challenges that have been mentioned by David? Well, I think collaboration is the key word. So we've, um, over the years, we've all thought, why, do, why is everyone having to work out how you do sanction screening individually as a bank, as opposed to thinking how you can pull resources and be much more efficient and attack that problem of friction that Dave talks about? And so for me, the, uh, the whole focus is to say, uh, let's create those standards, let's make those standards available to everyone, whether you're the largest bank or the smallest bank, and by so doing we can really tackle this problem of friction. David, centralised sanction screening and the screen once philosophy seems to be a great vision to address the unnecessary sanctions friction. How do you see this supporting the SWIFT strategy? I think that SWIFT can do what it can do to bring instant and frictionless transactions, but if we as an industry don't more efficiently and effectively handle sanctions, we'll never get to the industry vision of instant and frictionless. Therefore, if parties are willing to come together and look at how we can do that differently than we have before, that doesn't make sense for SWIFT to do, it makes a lot of sense for others to take on. We're more than happy that that is happening in the industry, and we're very happy to be uh, helping GSS with some input to their development board process and helping them take on a problem that, if solved, will actually enable our strategy and the industries forward. Tom, in the GSS journey so far and moving forward, what level of support have you guys received in the wider community, and what would you consider the biggest challenges delivering the GSS proposition? So I think that the support's been, been amazing. So we've, we, we, we tried this some years ago, and now we've got real collaboration from the banks who are keen to sort of come together and tackle this really fundamental problem. And I, I'm not sure that, that everyone's familiar with some of the statistics here, but anything between 5% and 20% of all payments get stopped, uh, typically for sanctions reasons. Then you end up with, with over, well, almost 25% of them are delayed for, by more than a day only for 99% of them, almost all of them, to be discounted as false positives. So this friction has generated a real momentum and people are collaborating to share best practice, to share standards and say there's got to be a better way. Um, and so uh, in terms of the engagement from banks, from regulators, it's been phenomenal and we're really excited about that. Now lots to do, but we're really excited about working in partnership, in collaboration with regulators and with banks on that journey. And David, finally, uh, speaking about in partnerships, the partnerships of GSS are a great example of how SWIFT can achieve its strategic visions through said partnerships. Do you envisage similar partnerships in the future to perhaps help support and deliver SWIFT's other priorities? Certainly. I mean, SWIFT is a cooperative created nearly 50 years ago by the industry in a collaborative manner to actually deliver solutions to the industry. So by it's in our DNA, it's in our nature, and I think there are many things that SWIFT can do itself to help deliver its instant and frictionless strategy for transactions around the world, but there's also things that we won't do. And then there's an area in the middle where there's things that need to be solved to get there that aren't right for us to do. It's a space that's ripe for collaboration, and we're very open to that across the industry. 
Well, you're certainly in the right place for collaboration. Finally back here, Cybos 2022 in person, and I'm hearing there's lots of collaboration taking place. As we speak, gentlemen, thank you so much for speaking to us this afternoon. Do have a fruitful and enjoyable remainder of Cybos this year. That's Tom Scampion, Chief Executive Officer of GSS Rose, and David Watson, Chief Strategy Officer from SWIFT.